I give the floor to United Nations Watch. You have the floor and you have two minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Irina Dovka and I am an inhabitant of Donbass in the eastern Ukraine. This region has been occupied by pro-Russian separatists. I'm speaking to you on behalf of UN Watch. On 24th of August, I was taken from my home by militants of the pro-Russian grouping who told me, um, who uh, falsely accused me of being a spotter for the Ukrainian artillery. In fact, I was um, buying uh, food, medicine, and uh, clothes for the Ukrainian army. On August 25th, I was taken to the center of the city. I had the Ukrainian flag draped around me, and I was uh, made to stand by a pillar with the label, she kills our children, she is an agent of death squads. One of the militants said that he would shoot my kneecap and took aim for a long time, but then aimed wide. Another one uh, pulled, uh, tore my t-shirt and made fun of my breasts. Citizens went past me looking uh, at the label. They uh, beat me or they kicked me or they spat at me. For four days I underwent beatings, torture and constant threats um, of gang rape. Um, my uh, house and my, the apartment of my son have been plundered uh, as a, to take revenge for my uh, openness and uh, my speaking out, I can to be, suffer from threats. There are particularly ter terrible threats against my 15-year-old daughter. I, like millions of other Ukrainians, um, unable to go home today. I would like to believe that the world would be able to stop the aggressor who has come to our land. I do not understand why Russia, openly sponsoring my torture as recently was elected to this council. I would ask the United Nations to call f for Russia to provide guarantees that I will not be persecuted for speaking the truth. Thank you very much, Mr. President.